All right, guys, are you ready to make some artwork? I am. All right, so here are all the materials that you may need to create your moon collage. So this is my example where I have created a collage with tin foil or aluminum foil with paper stars and aluminum foil stars. And we're gonna walk step by step how to create yours. Do you know what kind of moon this is? If you are thinking a full moon, then you are right. That means it's totally full. You can see it everywhere. And I love this collage because it's in the light. It shines almost like how the sun hits the moon and the moon shines its light down here onto earth. All right. So right after this video, there is a video on how to make painted paper. So if you look up close, this paper is white on the back and it's blue on this side because I used blue paint and a big paintbrush to paint it. And our reason I wanted it to, to be painted is so that it could be like our artist, Eric Carl. Do you guys remember how in the pages he had painted um, collage? Well, I was really inspired by him, which is why I wanted to paint my paper instead of just using construction paper. Okay, here's where you have a choice. If you don't have paint, um, you don't have to use that, and you can use construction paper. For most of our projects, pretty much all of our projects, if we're using colored paper and we're painting with it, you can always just use construction paper. So I just grabbed some blue, yellow, and white. Yellow and white for the stars, and blue for my background. All right. Okay, um, in the video on how to make the painted paper, what you'll wanna do is get a little bit of paint and, um, or it will show you how to do this. You'll get a little bit of paint, maybe put this on a paper plate and make sure you have like a big brush. You don't want a teeny bitty brush. It could be a little smaller than this. Bigger is better. And you, what you wanna do is on thick white paper, not thin paper, so maybe something that's a little bit thick for your background. You want to paint in big strokes, big, big, big strokes. And that way you'll have all of that beautiful texture of the paint. Okay, let's pretend I painted all this. What I wanna do is I wanna set it off to the side to do what? to dry, right? We can't glue anything on top of wet paper. So give it at least an hour to dry. If you want, you could get a different color and you could paint um, yellow, maybe for the stars. That's if you want, you don't have to. Um, okay, so either you can make painted paper like this right here, or you can use construction paper. So before you watch this video, try to decide what will you use? Okay, in this video, I'm going to use the painted paper. Okay, let's talk about what else we need. This is for the whole project after we just talked about that. All right, paint and paintbrush if you're painting your paper. You need tin foil. This is maybe the most important, important part of this project because we are going to make our moon out of this. You need Liquid glue, it's best if you have liquid glue instead of um, stick glue, but if you only have stick, that will work too. And you need scissors to cut out your moon, a marker to trace your moon, pencil to maybe draw your stars later on, and these right here, these are really important too. What are these? This is just bottle caps from like a Gatorade bottle or a water bottle and coins. Do you notice how I have different sizes? These are going to make the craters on the moon. We haven't talked about craters yet, but what they are are actually big divots, big kind of holes on the surface of the moon. So we want to add that texture into our tin foil. It's super fun. So that's why we need a big, a medium, and a small bottle cap. 
If you don't have bottle caps on hand, you might have some coins. Coins will work too to make the texture. And last but not least, I need a plate. And a plate is for tracing my circle. Okay guys, let's get started. All right, so the first step is, of course, if you're painting your paper, you're going to paint that and let it dry. And then while it's letting it dry, or while you're letting it dry, you can get your moon ready to go. So I have my box of aluminum foil, and I need probably just a square piece. You can always have an adult um, cut this for you. But most of the boxes have little um, razors on the edge. Just be careful. Okay, so I have my aluminum foil. I love it. It's shiny, just like stars in the moon. And I'm going to place my plate down. And I want to trace it. I can trace it with my pencil or a marker. But I actually might trace it with a pencil so I don't get any marker on my plate. All right, let's see. All right, take it up. And even though you might not see a line, you can still see um, where the pencil indented into the tin foil. All right, this is the shape of my moon. I wanted to make a full moon, but if you want to make a crescent moon, you can do that too. So if you want to make a crescent moon, you'll want to trace your about half of your circle this way, about from the top to the bottom side, adjust here. And what I wanna do, instead of tracing all the way around, I want to take my plate and just bring it over. I'm bringing it over right here. And now I can trace this line right here. and I can connect my moon shape here. I'll draw on it so that you can see it a little bit better. Look, I have a curved line right here and another curved line right here. Do you see how I didn't trace the entire circle? That's because I wanted to create a crescent moon. So if you don't want the full circle, you can always just do the crescent moon. Maybe you even want to do a half moon. A half moon could just be like tracing half of the circle and then drawing a straight line in between. Okay, now it's time to create our texture. And this is the really fun part. Okay, let's start with the coins. With the coins, you can place a few down on your table like that. Just kind of at random parts. I wouldn't line them all up, just like that. And I'm gonna place my tinfoil right on top. Pressing down, I wanna hold it with one hand, and with my other hand, I'm going to just find each coin. And when I get to each coin, I kinda of wanna put my finger around the edge. And what's happening is we are embossing. We are showing the shape of the coin, whether it's a bigger circle or a smaller circle like a penny, through my tin foil. Notice I'm just kind of pinching around. All right, and you can repeat it in a different area. Spread them out if you want. Just kind of pressing around. Can you guys see those? Yep, those are the beginnings of my moon craters. The next time it's nighttime and there's a full moon, try to look at it and see if you see the texture on the surface of the moon. Those are probably, you're probably seeing its craters. All right, so maybe you wanna do coins the whole way. You can start to see it like that. Or maybe you just wanna use the bottle caps. I like the bottle caps because it kind of dips in. So let's put it underneath. Let's start with a big one. Making sure my bottle cap is right underneath my moon. I'm gonna just softly press it. I don't want it to put my finger right in the middle or else I'm gonna punch a hole. 
just like a drum, like you like that. Just press your hand on kind of flat and just kind of press around on the top of the rim. Try not to let your um, <clears throat> your bottle cap slide as you press because you want one nice circle. Let's change it to the medium one. Press, press, press. And just be careful because some tin foil is thin. Mine kind of tends to be a little bit, this one is a little bit thicker, but you really don't want to press too hard to make punch a hole. If you get a little itty bitty tiny hole, that's okay. All right, look on this one. I'm putting my circle a little bit off of the edge of my moon. Some of the circles can go off the edge. Press, press, press. Are you starting to see it come together? Some are big, some are small. It's good to have different sizes, just like the moon near our Earth. All right, we want to do a few more. You don't have to fill the whole thing with dots. But you want to have, oops, you want to have enough for enough texture. All right, let's see where we are. Let's do one more in the middle. All right, I love it. Okay, now we are ready to cut it out. And remember, um, when you are cutting, you might want to ask a, an adult, a mom or dad, to help you. But you have to be very careful. When you use scissors, remember your thumb is in the little hole and the rest of your fingers are in the big hole. Thumb in his eye, finger in his belly. Just like we're cutting, um, like when we were cutting the dot collage. We learn how to hold our scissors really well and to hold them safely. We always cut away from ourselves. All right, I'm doing my best to stay right on my line. And be careful because tin foil gets a little bit sharp on the edges. So just be careful. Notice I'm doing big cuts, not little itty baby cuts. Big cuts, cutting out my circle. Okay, and look at that. The moon is done. It is so beautiful. Let's glue it down. Okay, let's pretend my painted paper has already dried. This is one of my older ones, or ones that I made beforehand, so it's already dry. You'd want to make sure you waited a long enough time to where when you touch it, it is bone dry. Okay. So when you are gluing this down, you only want to glue the edges. And I'm going to keep the shiny side up and the dull side as the back. And I'm going to use my liquid glue. When you want to open it up, you want to um, shake it to get it all moving and grooving. Twist it and just glue little thin lines right around the edge. Do you guys remember when we glued our dots and I said, don't glue his belly, don't glue the middle? This is the same thing. If you glue the middle, your moon will kind of lay flat and we kind of want it to be 3D. Okay, when you're done with glue, always twist it back so it doesn't dry out. All right, flip it over and you can kind of place it anywhere on this paper but I want to place it kind of in the middle. So carefully putting it down, I'm gonna place it. Um, my paint strokes are going left to right, so I want these it to be kind of placed that way. All right, here's where you have to be uh, very careful. You don't want to press down all those craters that you just made with your bottle cap. You don't wanna just press like that, like how we normally would, we would massage it flat. We really only want to press the edges. 
Look, I'm almost going around like a pie. Have you ever made a pie and pressed the edges? It's just like this. Just kind of press them down. Okay. All right. You can always lift it up, see if there's any floppy fish on the edge. Whoop, yep, I got some floppy fishes. Try not to press in the middle. You want those craters to stay up. All right. Let's check again. Pretty good, pretty good. Needs a little bit more. You can always sneak a little bit of glue right underneath the edge that needs it. Press it down. If you don't have liquid glue, you can always use the glue stick. All right, you can even, maybe even have a, um, an adult help you roll some tape if you don't even have any glue. To roll tape, you tear a little bit, fold it in half, and roll it up. And you can even put that behind the moon if you want. All right, our moon is on, and now we're just ready to decorate around. Look at the cover of Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me. What else is there other than the moon? The stars. The stars are here. So let's add some stars. The first kind of stars I'm going to add are tinfoil stars. So make sure you don't throw away that scrap tinfoil that you just cut. Keep it on hand. Don't ball it up yet. I'm going to cut a little rectangle, just a little strip, just like this. Carefully, carefully. And all I'm going to do is just use my scissors to cut little shapes. Look how tiny they are. They're so little. They're going to be like the stars in the sky that surround the moon. Be very careful. Just let them all fall in a little pile. All right, that should be enough. If I need more, I can make it. All right, let's glue these down. I can almost use the tip of my glue, um, of my liquid glue, put a little glue on the end. Oops. There we go. And lift up the tin foil with that bit of glue. Do you see it? There it is. I just need a dot. That's probably even too much. Try to press it down. It's going to be slippery and slidey. Try to try your best to press it down. All right, pick up another one. Get a little bit of glue. This lifts it up. Then press it down wherever you want. Pick it up. Press it down. And I'm just going to surround my moon on the top, the bottom, the left, and right with all of these little tinfoil stars. In a moment, we will talk about how to actually draw a star and cut it out. That's a little more challenging, but if you guys want to try it, then you can try it. Pick it up with a little bit of glue. Press it down. Maybe you could even get super creative and Google um, constellations. Have you ever heard of a constellation? That is where there's stars in the night sky that actually, if you look at them, they make pictures. So one of the most famous ones is the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. And they're called dippers because they look like ladles, like soup ladles. And people have been looking at constellations for so many years. All right, I have my stars. I have a few about everywhere. And now I want to do something different. 
I want my stars to be yellow. So this is some extra paper that I painted. And what I want to do is flip it over. And I am going to draw some stars with a pencil. All right, so when you draw stars, if you've never done it before, you might want to just grab a scrap paper and pencil right now and just practice with me. A star has five points. One, two, three, four, five. And you draw it by putting your pencil down here, going up, angling up, down. Look, it almost looks like a triangle. Over here, to the left, drive across, and look, do I have one more line? Yep, one more line. All right, let's do it. Up, is it angling? Yep, it's diagonal. Just like a triangle, bring it down from this line to here. Angle it back up, crossing that line. Drive it across, one more line. Up, down, across, drive it across, and connect. Up, down, across, drive it across, and connect. Up, down, across, drive it across, and connect. All right, I just said it a couple times so that hopefully, maybe after a couple practices, you might get it. Okay. And don't worry if they don't look perfect. So you can draw stars like that and we can cut them out. And you can also just make your stars circles. Everybody can draw a circle. That's a line that comes back to itself. A line that goes around and comes back. Just like the shape of our pennies. So some can be bigger, some can be smaller. Draw these on the back. All right, now I need my scissors. And what I'm gonna do is just cut out one star at a time so it's easier for me to cut. I'm following my lines that I just drew. Cut, all right, here's the tricky part. We gotta go this way now. Put your scissors here. Cut. Remember, you don't have to cut these stars. They're pretty tricky. So if you don't feel like you can do it, you don't have to. There we go, I have my first star. Is it perfect? No, but that's okay. Let's cut a few more and then we'll glue them down. Stars make awesome decorations too. So you can make them for your collage. You can make um, cut paper stars, give them to friends. They're so pretty. One more. Oh, can you hear my dog? Sorry about that. He thinks he sees someone outside, but he probably doesn't. <laughs> okay. All right, let's glue them down. Flip them over to the back side. That's the white side. You need barely any glue. See how little I have? Barely any. Rub it around and press. Pick it up. Barely any. Rub it around and press. <laughs> okay, all right, here we are. All right, artists, we have made our moon collage and um, we started with prepping our paper. Maybe you are going to paint your paper. I used a blue paint, kind of like the night sky. Maybe if you have black paint, you could paint it black too. 
And then while I was waiting it for, for it to dry, I got my tin foil. Remember, I traced it with my plate. If I wanted to make a crescent moon, I could just draw another curved line, just like the shape of a C. Remember, we got out our coins and our bottle caps and we pressed the tin foil on top to get our craters. Remember, our craters. All right, we glued our moon down, and then last but not least, we cut out stars, and we cut out circles. Actually, forgot to cut out my circle. Let's cut it out right now. Circles don't have to be perfect. Just do your best to cut a little shape. And the dot of glue on the back, barely any, goes a long way. There we go. Press it down. And there's a circle star. Right? We made our stars, and last but not least, before you finish any artwork, you always want to write your name. So I'm going to flip it over and write Miss Wright. And I like to write the day that I made it or the month that I made it. So I'm going to write December 2020. That way you always remember. Okay, guys, if you need any help with this project, message me and I am here. Good luck.